Well, tonight, many homeowners in Cache Valley are preparing sandbags as they brace for what could be the first major melt-off of the season. Yeah, new specialist Mike Anderson talked with some of those homeowners as well as emergency managers about the days ahead. Mike? Yeah, Mike and Debbie, you know, uh, the hope, of course, is that this will all sort of uh, melt off slowly. Either way, homeowners want to be ready. That's why right now there's a... Uh, uh, sandbag filling uh, party, they call it here in Wellsville. Pretty busy, a lot of people out here today. But uh, even if this is a gradual warm up, a lot of people are still concerned about the large piles of snow that they've got built up around their homes. As the water is already starting to flow along many of our streams, homeowners are doing what they can, working together at sandbag prep stations like this one at the Cache County Sheriff's Office. There's a ton of snow. I have places that it's seven eight feet high up there cheryl moore gathering bags with her husband wayne for their home and some of their neighbors we're going to go home place them around our window wells take tarps put the tarps down so as everything melts hopefully we're directing it in the trenches we've already made and this is the reason why so much of this stuff waiting to head downstream today they're starting by laying down bags for their next door neighbor who lives right next to summit creek if it goes past my house okay it's going to go down to their house and flood them however the hope with this first sign of spring i think it brings back some uh flashbacks of our floods in 2017 and I, we're just not there box other county emergency manager mark millet if it warms up for a couple of days and then it cools back down and, and comes at us again a few more days later. That's kind of what we want to do. Believes there's no reason to be concerned about disaster level flooding right now. Management teams like his in nearby counties say they will be on standby to help public works crews go where needed, expanding that coverage if things get worse. Okay. Though for homeowners yeah, like the Moors, basement flooding can seem like much more than a minor nuisance. But this is so much more snow than we've ever, ever had before. And we've been here 33 years. And Millet uh, points out that, you know, right now we don't have sort of those oversaturated soils that we had back in 2017. So, of course, the hope, the hope that it won't be as bad. And ideally, if we warm up just a bit now, it cools off again later. That's kind of the gradual uh, melting off thing that we want to have happen. But we'll see how it goes. Back right. to you. Looks like they're trying to be safe rather than sorry. Thanks, Mike.